Hey, what is up guys and welcome to Titanfall. Managed to get myself a code, got myself into the beta. Time to try it and see what the game is all about. How, how does it feel? Is he any good? Does he, what does it need changing early, early on before we uh, get into uh, the full game release, which is only about a month away, but time to get in and have a quick look. Now, what is Titanfall for those of you that don't know? It's a bunch of Call of Duty guys have left Activision and started a new company called Respawn. And basically they made a game, which is Titanfall, which you see in the gameplay right now. It is in the beta. Now, this is technically an open beta, but you had to register. And you do get invited to the game at certain points. If you do get selected, you'll get an email at some point this weekend, no later than the 17th. Which I believe that's Monday. So you should get an email up to about the 17th if you got chosen to actually take part in the beta. Now, I, like I said earlier on, I managed to uh, get myself a code, get in, try the game a little bit for myself and see what it's all about. Now, obviously, the first question you may have, is it any good? Is it good? Is it decent? Is it just Call of Duty? Is it shit? How does the gameplay work? Actually, the gameplay itself works pretty, pretty smooth. There's no problems. There's no glitches. There's no bugs. There's no such thing as something being really OP. The only thing that's really OP, well, it's not OP, I'd say, it's the pistol. There is a pistol that locks onto players, and you'll see me die into it a couple of times. I think I might have took that out. But it basically, you run around close to a player, and he locks onto you. It, regardless of what you do, you kind of get killed by it. And I think they really need to increase the time it takes for that pistol to actually lock onto a player. It's just that simple. Once you get it locked, then there's not really much you can do about it. I went into a one-on-one -on -one fight with somebody, and I was shooting... 40 mags of SMGs into it, 40 rounds of SMGs into it, and it's because he's got me locked, there wasn't really much I can do about that. So that's one of the only issues that I've noticed so far in the game that really needs to change. Now, there isn't that many guns, there isn't that many uh, options since this is just a beta, and there's obviously going to be plenty more guns and plenty more stuff in the actual game. But as it stands, I have not noticed any kind of bugs whatsoever with the game. It is pretty cool, it works pretty fine. The gameplay mechanic just feels right. I mean, you get to fly around buildings, you get to jump on top of buildings. The maps are not as small as I thought. They're slightly bigger, so you get to have quite a bit of fun with it. So you're not going to be really forced into one side of the map. Uh, the Titans themselves, they're not overpowered at all. You can easily take down Titans, especially with a couple of more Titans shooting at him uh, and a couple of your guys shooting at him at the same time. So it is pretty cool the way it works. They have not noticed whatsoever any kind of problems with the Titans so far. And it just feels right. You know, it's one of them games that you don't have to worry about getting in. It's going to be plenty of kills for everybody, plenty of fun for everybody. There is. AIs. If you look on the left-hand side of your screen, on the top right, on the top right, on the top left side of your screen, uh, the red dots, obviously the big ones, are the Titans. Then you have the little red dots, which are your players. Well, the bigger red dots, anyway. And then you have the mini yellow, not yellow, the like orange sort of color. Those are the AIs. So you have AIs, enemy players, all that into one game which makes for a completely new experience you know it just makes it feel right and I, I wouldn't thought this to myself I thought I'll come into the game and it's gonna feel really weird and it's gonna be <coughs> Titans everywhere it's just gonna be OP it's gonna be really weird and I've not found any of that whatsoever I think the game itself is not gonna be Battlefield or anything I mean there is elements of pretty much every single game that you can think of in here there's crisis there's cloaks there's jumping from crisis there's call of duty close quarters for people that like that sort of stuff there is just bits for everybody in this game and i don't see how you not would be able to enjoy this because it's just a fun game i really think once you get yourself uh, into the game and you get to uh, grips with the weapons and the mechs and the titans and the weapons and all that sort of stuff i think you'll have quite a bit of good fun playing the game even though it doesn't appeal that much to the battlefield fans i've always been a battlefield fan and for me it's open maps it's vehicle it's it's flanking and all this and all that but there is plenty of flanking because of that jumping ability that you get to jump on roofs and you get to wall run and you get to do all that cool stuff and i think that's gonna it's gonna change the way you play a game you know it's just not a simple call of duty game where it's just gun on gun try and outsmart him, outgun him by going around cover and taking a shot when you need to and I think because of that it makes the game completely different and it's going to feel 
completely different because you're sort of playing a Call of Duty slash Crisis slash something game and it just feels right, it just feels cool. I mean, the, the, the fact that you get to go and kill a few AIs and like, look, there's a couple of dudes over there, you just spray them really quick, they don't even know what hit them. You turn around, you pop a couple of more and it just feels really cool. I mean, you get your kill streaks. It doesn't really give you that much for your kill streaks, which is a good thing because you don't want kill streaks to ruin the game. It's just that simple. So that's pretty much it for me. I think the game itself works. It is pretty fun. I am enjoying it even though I've never been a fan of Call of Duty, but it just works because of that element of crisis in there. And overall, I think it's fun and it's going to be pretty fun for the next couple of months getting into the game and just having a bit of fun with it. So are you guys going to buy this or are you guys going to be, nah, not really for me. Hope you guys have enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.